Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Lego Harry Potter years one through four. Today, we are going to be doing year two in free play. We completed year one in free play last episode. So now we are moving on over this way. <laughs> you can already see all the, I like how the different post-it board does represent the year. Like this time there's a bunch of spiders. There's like the uh, snake border last year there was the, the the invitation to Hogwarts and the train with nine and three quarters and the broomsticks. That's really cool. I like that. Anyways, we're doing the first level, Flow Powder. As per usual, there's going to be three characters, the full uh, crest to get, and also along with it, there is going to be um, a student in peril. So just all the normal stuff. Hopefully everything goes well. So we start out here in uh, Harry's, not Harry's house, um, the Weasley house. This is definitely not Harry's house. And we'll just try to destroy as much as we can around here before we go inside, because I know what we're supposed to do is just go inside the house. So if we just do everything else, hopefully we'll be fine. What's with these little guys? I don't know why they're, oh, I can, oh, I can throw these guys into the target? Oh, that's a little mean. One out of six, I gotta do that six times. All right, if you say so. Also, we got the times 20 stun multiplier right at the end of the last episode. Maybe I don't have to throw them into the target, but I do have to throw them around a little bit. Let's get these studs over this way too. I'm just gonna destroy as much as I possibly can. There's also like a little lawnmower we can make. Oh yeah, I think we made this last time too, but <laughs> might as well make it now. Or is it a lawnmower? Or is it just a tractor? I can ride it around, no matter what it is. Two wizard already, wow. <laughs> that was fast. I knew it was gonna be fast, but that's really fast. Okay, so I don't know if there's anything I'm supposed to do with this. Oh wait, I guess so, because I got a, a carrot there, um, a carrot there. I don't know if there's a better way to do it. Or there's just the way. Oh, yeah, there's the broken car. Cool. Let me run through and grab these studs before they disappear, because they usually do rather quickly. And what do I do with the carrots? I can just put them upside down, and they'll rock it off, because that's what carrots do. <laughs> of course. Uh, let's pick you up. Give you a little spin around. And boom, into the laundry machine you go. <laughs> We're so mean to these little guys. Come on now. Can we go into this little shed? Well, he's riding a little scooter. Yeah, this is Arthur's shed, so there's usually a lot of weird stuff in here, isn't there? We can't go in, though. That's sort of a shame. I would love to see what that's like. I'm gonna grab all of this. And I guess I do need the lawnmower to bring out some of these carrots. I can't do it any other way. Let's pick you up, and boom, into the car. That didn't do anything, it seems. Uh, so all I need to do, then, is just hop back onto here. So we already have over 100,000 studs in this level. Like, isn't that super crazy? And we need to find as many carrots as possible. So that, there's another one. There was like seven we needed to find. So that was gonna be three, four, five, and six right here. Oh, do we have a character that can dig? Well, we do have Ginny's, or not Ginny, uh, Hermione's Crookshanks, so that should work. There we go. So that should all be good. Back over to this carrot. Give it a good launching. See ya. And will studs pop up for that? I guess it doesn't give us any studs. Weird. Usually everything does. I can do this one as well. See ya. Four out of seven. Beat up some of this stuff if we can. There we go. Because there's a couple of silver and gold studs. Really just, it racks up really high. Because normally when we were doing the times two, we were ending a level with like 100,000 studs. So now that we had the times 20, we should be finishing with like around a million studs each level. We'll have to see. I do see this we can build. What is this? Is it a giant pumpkin car? I suppose it's a giant pumpkin car. Oh, there's still one more of these guys. So let's launch you. Are you gonna go through the window? Oh, wait, was that not right? That was weird. Um. Yeah, what's going on with that? Oh, you're supposed to be going through the basketball hoop, but this thing's in the way. I think that's the idea. Okay, you move. Move the carrot, this will be the last carrot. See ya, and there we go. So there's the first crest piece. I got a pumpkin car, Wee. <laughs> Very silly. Now let's try to dunk ya. That's it. Okay, so let's grab all these studs, and we should be good to get this other crest piece. Move over to Hermione, who has Crookshanks. Oh wait, no, don't, don't turn it into somebody else. And let's dig into here. What do we have inside? It is a secret character, it is George Weasley. Very cool. So I don't think there's much else we can do around here. It looks like everything. We, we did really well clearing this area out real fast, so let's go inside, if I can. 
It's just like that. So we found one of the secret characters. We still need to find two more. And here we are in the house. Everybody's off doing their own thing, I suppose. What's behind the books? Oh, a golden owl. Where's the owl going? Away. All right, see you, buddy. That was cool. I don't know if there's anything with the golden owls because I know that there are some of those in that one gold brick area of that one shop, the red brick shop. Oh, look at that. <laughs> cool. See, I just basically have to interact with all of the possible interactable things in the Weasley home. And hopefully we get everything we need to get. That would be good. All right, all this stuff has to be cleaned too. Come on, clean it up. Give me the money for it. And what is this about? Oh, we can just set up more of the table. Ooh, a blue stud. That's gonna be 20,000 studs right there. Isn't that crazy? So it's even twice as much as a normal purple stud. We find a purple stud, that's gonna be 200,000 studs. That'll be crazy. What's this about? Oh, we grew the plant. Very fancy. Gives us more studs. It doesn't seem like there was too much in the other kitchen, so I'll just leave this for now. What was that about? We were just checking another cushion for something. Um, and is there something we can do with this one? I don't think so. It's just sort of bouncing around. And then I can say hello to the photo in a moment, but I'd actually like to leave that be, because I think that's what we have to do. Instead, let's move all this stuff around. Oh, all the books can be free, hooray! Goodbye, books, for no reason. Oh, that was, okay, we're going back outside again. I don't need to do that, I don't think. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I guess that's how that works. Huh. There's not too much else going on around here. It's a little weird, a little barren. Not actually any collectibles that we need in that. Okay. Yeah, we're, oh, we need to, oh yeah, that's right, we need Ginny. So where's Ginny at? I mean, I guess I could just play as her, right? If not, then I actually don't know where she is. Ginny, where did you go? Wait, what? Am I stuck because I don't have Ginny? No, she's under this chair. I know she is, right? But I forget what to do about it. I think I'm supposed to, is this broken? Oh, there we go. It just had to be one specific spot. There she is, see? That was very weird. And there's nothing more I can do then, I don't know. Weird. Okay, I have Ginny. Say hello to the photo, yep, that's it. Give us the thingamajig. And what do I do with it? The world may never know. Just pick it up for now though. Um, oh, actually, no, I gotta do this as a, <laughs> we have two Harrys here, by the way. That might be one too many. Oh yeah, and then we do the flu powder stuff. Okay, yeah, there wasn't really too much to find inside the home, but that's fine, because there's plenty of stuff to find here in this one shop. I forget what this is. How does this work? I think we need to explode one. There we go. Yeah, you gotta keep holding it until it pops. There we go. Come on now. One more time. Pop. <laughs> so this should be pretty simple. We get Reducto. Boom, blast that thing. And we get ourselves our student in peril. Ow, and the treasure chest eats me. So there we go, student in peril. Don't have to worry about that anymore. And what is going on with this treasure chest here? Cause usually, whoa, look at this. I didn't know this was a thing. This is super cool. Where's Snape? He's right here. Bust this open, this is so cool. We get ourselves the Slytherin crest. And now we could go back up. But I was looking around to see if we can't blast anything. That was so cool. I like it. And anything else we can do around here? I'm sure there's something. Uh, well, first we gotta help these fish. Um, oh yeah, that's the rain cloud in the bottle. We can do that. We gotta move forward with the level some way or another. But we still need to find two more characters and one more crest piece. That's the big thing right now. Got an eyeball, Oh, here we go, here we go. This might be another character. Indeed it is, it's Arthur Weasley. Very cool, I like it. So we know that if we leave through that area, that's that's the actual exit. So for now, I'm just trying to find everything else. Yeah, and that sort of shows you, of course, that you can go this way and you can activate a thing. I don't need to do that just yet. Oh, here's the skeleton that dances around. Hello there, Mr. Dancing Skeleton. 
Not too much else we can do around here. Okay, so we just gotta make our way out, I think, and then we're done with this area, but we still got more to do in some other spots. So here we are outside, um, and I'm just looking around for whatever we could possibly do. I can shake this thing around, beat up a lot of stuff, all the jack-in-the-boxes and stuff. Oh yeah, there's lots of pieces. Yep, something else for Hagrid. I wanna switch over Ginny if I can, because this version of Ginny's like not even a wizard yet, so can't even do too much. This is Borgen and Burks is where we currently are. You can see the sign right there. I can also do this one. It's not gonna do too much except for give us studs. We're at 627,000 studs. Like that is, like that shows you how worth it the uh, stud things are because they just immediately give you your money back basically, the stud multipliers do. Always worth doing. Okay, I guess all these guys have been activated then. Well, except for that one. <laughs> okay, so, oh, there's a crest piece right there. The final one. I don't know if that's, this is what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I can't even do that, okay. Oh, I see, yeah. We gotta switch over to Snape in a moment. In the meantime, though, I have this thing. Very cool. Oh gosh, there's a spider here. Get the spider out of here. Where did the spider come from? I don't know, I don't like it. Where is Snape? Here he is. He can do something with this door. No wrong thing, there we go. Open it up and there's our final crest piece, which is great, but now we're looking for two more characters. After we find those two characters, or is it one more character? I can't remember. Um, it might be, I don't know. Um, we should be good. And speaking of which, here is um, Harry Sweater. See, I think we're still looking for one more somewhere around here, so we'll find him sooner or later. Actually, I just realized that was our third one, so we should be done now. I don't know if there's anything over there, but we don't even have to worry about it. We can just save and exit. Awesome stuff, so that should be everything. There's, yeah, George Weasley, who we found in the, on the, the, the yard of the Weasley house, Arthur Weasley, and now Harry Sweater. <laughs> Harry wearing a sweater. We also completed the house crest. Very, very, very cool. And then of course we found the student in peril after we get the true wizard, of course. I mean, we got that in the first like minute of it because it was just so quick and easy to do. And as you can see, we get from 281,000 studs all the way up to over a million again. It instantly paid itself back. Isn't that cool? At least nearly. By the next level it will be. And then some. And student in peril turns out frown upside down. And gold bricks, how many do we have now? 64, 65, and 66, right? Yep, there we go, 66 out of 200. We're really getting a whole lot closer. All right, so here we are with this next level, Dobby's plan. So let's start start figuring this out a little bit. First off, we have Hermione over here. See, this is where, well, this actually all happens really quickly. Yeah, okay, so yeah, this is where, of course, uh, uh, I like how all of these are the same person over and over again, but, um. Yeah, Dobby starts attacking Harry during his thing. It's not good, of course. Already have 17,000 studs. I'm just trying to take a good look around before we move forward. We need to go into this hatch, which Hybrid is in the way of, but I guess Hermione's magic is so powerful, it just never minds that. Whoa, watch it. So what's inside of this? We have, oh yeah, this is for the uh, thing. We'll see that in just a moment. In the meantime, can we do anything with any of this? You guys know a little weird that there's stuff over there? Oh, you know what, this is gonna break it. Once we smack that, boom. Now we can go in here. Just messing with some stuff. True wizard, we got one out of four for something. I guess the flag in the barrel. That was a little weird. But um, true wizard already, 77,000 studs. That's crazy. Definitely pick up all this. Couple of other things we can mess with, like this little scroll thing. We'll have a picture of some sort, I'm sure. As these wizards, can we interact with them? Hello, help us for something. Oh, you just gave us studs, okay, cool. Free money. And we got this little banner, that's cool. And that seems to be everything around here. Well, actually, was there, no, that was a little hole in the background there. I don't know what that was. Uh, what about this? I can attack it. Oh yeah, send those brooms flying off. Maybe that'll help Harry. Yeah, and this right here, that is gonna give us two out of four. Very cool, get out of here. And I don't think I can do anything with the book, so we're just good to move to Hagrid. Out of my way. Here we go. So yeah, we're just trying to get through this level as soon as we can, get all the stuff from it. And so far, I mean, it's a pretty easy area just to clear things out. Can I hit this stuff? I can hit those. 
It doesn't actually do anything for me, but I'm just making extra sure. But it's a pretty linear area, so it's, it's easy to know when you miss stuff. I say that, but the next, the last time we were at the Quidditch tournament area, I did miss some stuff. But I think that was because the game was being really silly with it. Yeah, back here I see this one. That's going to be three out of four. And then here is a Dark Wizard thing. Luckily we have Snape. And that should be maybe our first hidden character. Yep, and it is Draco Quidditch. Cool. And going back over this way. I'm gonna do that. And we can go up this way. This is, you know, quite simple stuff, of course. That's gonna unleash the golden snitch. snitch. Uh, and we gotta go up there now, so simple stuff. We've seen it all before. But it looks like there's a little bit to the left that we can do. It always fun. It always is fun to be able to go through these levels and look at them in a different light than we did before because of all the different extra collectibles we're finding. But that's always the most exciting thing about this. And that's, of course, the main point of it as well, so. So we can talk to you again. Maybe you'll give us more studs. Maybe you'll give us something better this time. So we haven't had any of the pendants yet. We gotta be getting closer. What in the world is this? It's a horn. Playing some music. Okay. Is that all it does? Should I wait? I guess not, <laughs> it's just gonna keep playing music. I'm gonna get rid of you, sir. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this, because that'll be four to four in our first uh, piece of the crest. Very good. And there's even more to appear because we have another flag. That'll be three out of four for that, so we're close to our next one. That's at least good, oh yeah, it's right here, right here. Do a little bit of that, and boom, crest piece number two. So we still have two more left to go. Still have two more characters left to find as well, so there's just a lot to do. Can we ever go back, by the way? I guess we can't, so I'm glad that we uh, got all that figured out properly. I wanna blast you, sir. Thank you. I know we're doing it as Harry. <laughs> the, the person he's trying to stop to begin with. I definitely see a different uh, extra character thing down that way. That'll be good. There goes a firework flying all over the place. That's a lot of extra studs, wowee. Okay, back up here. Well, I got a blue stud for it too. This game is too kind. And that'll let the gargoyle loose. More importantly, I'll let those blocks so we can start building some things up. Because so far, this is all pretty much by the books for everything. I'm gonna switch over to Hermione as soon as I can. Just like that. And yeah, there's not too much on this floor we can do beyond that. Like maybe there might be any studs over this way. Not quite. So we should just be good to hop on top of these things. Hit this banner, maybe. Yeah, that got us some studs, but nothing too major. And whoa, yeah, we need to do this other stuff too. Okay, I didn't know if that was gonna be anything. We do have another one of these pictures as well. I'll interact with that once we're down there. And we gotta get Dobby. And while Dobby's hopping out and being silly, he just like casually walks out like, you can't get me. I can get him. Don't you worry about it. Okay, can't do too much more from this angle. Plenty of stuff to do over there. It looks like. I don't know if any of it will get us collectibles, but I know I can say hello to you guys. And that didn't do anything. Oh, we need a Slytherin person. Oh, wait. Hagrid is Slytherin? Is he Slytherin? I thought he was Slytherin. Uh, here we go, Snape. There we go, one out of two. I hope I haven't missed any. I don't think I have though. Oh. Sorry, I, I just turned him into a rat. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry there, Hagrid. I need to, actually, yeah, get a Reducto, not Reducto, Lumos. And there we go, there was, a, there was a student in there. Glad I was able to save them. And, yep, we got it, cool. Oh, is there something to build? Oh, there is something to build here. What is this? I actually don't know. Oh, I guess a way to get back up if I were to fall? Yeah, I guess if you were to accidentally go down here before getting Dobby, you'd need a way back up. Isn't that weird? And a good thing they thought of it. Why is this not working? That was weird. Come on. There it is. Now get rid of this guy. See ya. And we should be able to go through. So Dobby's in there. I'm not quite worried about it to begin with. 
Just trying to worry about everything else. That was a lot. Oh, oh, okay. Let's make sure we do this then. This could be the other Slytherin thing. It looks like it is. So I'm gonna talk to you guys. Hey, and there it is, another piece. Is it the Slytherin piece? It better be, yeah, it is. If not, that'd make no sense. So I'm glad we got that, and I'm lucky that we actually had Snape. Because I thought that, I mean, I might be wrong, but I thought that Haggard was Slytherin. I must be getting that mixed up then. Okay, well there's Dobby. There's nothing else in that barrel. Blast him. And I don't think that's the end of the level, is it? Nope, okay, yeah, that's where we're in the infirmary. Hey, Harry Potter, it's me, Harry Potter. I'm doing that. Oh, there's a Mandrake. Well, if we switch over, it's funny, because I guess none of the adult characters, oh, no, I'm wrong. Uh, most of the adult characters don't mind too much. Well, there's a ton of glass items around here I think we can explode, right? I, as far as I remember, I may be wrong, like there's a piece right there. It doesn't do anything, like, it doesn't count up to anything, though. I mean, I'll still do it, don't get me wrong. Just for the sake of completion. But it is a little bit weird, it doesn't count for anything. I have to sort of think outside of the box to uh, notice these. There we go. And then we just need to break this, which we were going to do anyways. Okie doke. And then there's some light bulbs and stuff. Actually, is there anywhere I can put this thing away so it's not being so annoying? I don't think so. I don't think there's actually a thing for it anywhere. Anyways, in the meantime, there's still quite a few things we can do around here. We can bounce off the bed. Oh, yeah, there's a character right here. It's Dobby, that's cool. Oh, I can destroy these. These, these flowers, I guess. Yeah, you have uh, the, the knight under your bed. I'll deal with that soon enough. You can also just attack the beds a little bit. Okay, you leave me alone, please. Please leave me alone. What's going on here? Oh, we turned that sunflower happy. Oh, that's cute. Could we interact with the bed, though? It looked like we could, but maybe not. And what's inside here? Ooh, salt and pepper shakers. Maybe. Whoa. Ooh, purple stud. Thank you very much. 200,000 studs right there, we're at 986. That's crazy. Okay, so what's over this way? We do have more plants we can bring to life. Might as well. Better than leaving them be. <laughs> we got a flying book in that one. There's not too much we can do with Harry. We don't really need to do much. Just trying to hop off the beds. I'm just trying to make fun of Harry here, apparently. We're just having a good time while he just has to sit there with his broken arm. We're supposed to be finding his cure. Oh, there is actually a silver thing here. What's inside of this? There's a bunch of studs instead of a medium amount of studs, I suppose. Whoa, <laughs> there's a blue stud, cool. And then, not that, I'll do, okay, I guess I'll do this part now. I was actually gonna do the other thing. Wow, yeah, we have over a million studs in this level already, 1.1 million. He is just jamming out. <laughs> Yikes, okay, so um, I can still interact with that. And what about all this? Not too bad. Okay, I know I need to make the potion and stuff to move forward with this level, but it's not too much what I'm interested in. I mean, I don't know, actually. I think that once we're done, we're done. Uh, reducto this. And this should have... Okay, let me get the this first, because it's getting in my way. But does... Well, what does this have? Is this just a wardrobe where I can put earmuffs on? Yeah, I suppose so, just in case I didn't have Madame Pomfrey, I suppose. So that didn't do anything too spectacular for me. Have I activated this light? I mean, I know I've done that. There we go. <laughs> so I'm hoping I can find the last character in here, and then also the Gryffindor thing. We'll have to wait and see. I can mess with quite a lot of things around here, so I'm sure we'll find something soon enough. Hmm. Oh, you know what, I can smack that and it'll go up there. Not really something I need to do, but I do need to do this. And to do that, I need to switch to Snape. No, I was doing the right thing. Um, What is this even? I have no clue. But I can attack it. Oh, it's like a towel rack or a medicine rack. 
gotcha. And there's Madame Pomfrey. So now all we're looking for then is the final thing. Do we have grip hook? I sure hope so, yep, we do. And I'm just gonna twist this and maybe this will be the final thing. Yes, there it is. So we have everything else. Indeed we do. So collect that and we are good to get out of here. Uh, return to the Leaky Cauldron, save and exit. There is another level 100% complete. We get Draco in his Quidditch outfit. We get Dobby, he's cool. And we get Madame Pomfrey unlocked. Super awesome. And what else do we get here? We get the house crest finished up a little bit. Indeed. So that should be a couple more golden bricks for us. And of course the true wizard, as per usual. Um, maybe we should start skipping this. I don't know, it's taking a while. But look at how many studs we have now. It's just, it's crazy. I love it. But how many golden bricks do we have? I, I always want to see that for this time. Um, it is gonna be, well, I gotta see the student in peril. There we go, okay, we can skip it with that button, gotcha. 67, 68, 69 is gonna be 70. Nah, just, okay, that's fine. We're, we're so close to 100. Alrighty, so now time for the third level, Crab and Goyle. This is actually taking me a while, and you know, we've only done two levels, we're already 30 minutes into today's video, at least for me. Um, I think I might actually, I'm considering maybe just doing three levels per year, per episode. I know I keep jumping around with it, but just because it is just taking me so long, I wanna make sure that you know these episodes aren't too long, because eventually they just get really tiring. So we'll have to wait and see. For right now, um, I gotta do Reducto on all that, because there's obviously a character to collect right over this way, and boom, two wizard, no problem. We get Vincent Crab, and we also got this stuff. So what else is going on around here? Probably lots of stuff, so we're just gonna pick away at everything. <laughs> Not attack Hermione, sorry Hermione. Because I know there's some things we you know, actually had to do. Do we have a strong character right now? Oh, we don't. Oh, do I need that? Are we gonna make a potion? We might be making a potion. Well, I mean, I know we're making that potion. Oh geez, did it give me the wrong characters then? Am I gonna need a strong character for this? No, I think that we figured that out along, along the way. I can't honestly remember. Anyways, well, there's still plenty of more things we can mess with. Like, we can knock all this stuff down pretty easily. Uh, we get this lever. This is part of the main level, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Where do I put this? Over here, yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure that that's something we mess with. If not, I definitely am already gonna have to redo this level. It'd be really weird if it gave me something I can't do that, right? What is this, we got the cherry for the potion. I mean, maybe, huh. Wouldn't be too big of a deal, I just have to reload into it in the very beginning and just get over this way. Like, like I said, that wouldn't be the end of the world, but it'd just be a little weirdly inconvenient. Well, in the meantime, I know I need to get over this way to get the apple, so let's get to it. I haven't seen too much more. I mean, we got one secret character right away, so at least that was good. And we'll get over this way, yeah, the pipe for the flower. I'll happily grab that in a few moments time. But I still haven't, that, oh wait, is that, I don't know. What's going on with this then? Because I know we're getting the apple soon. Yeah, that's what that is over there, okay. And wasn't there another thing? There has to be, so I'll have to look around for it. But for right now, yeah, there's really not too much of a way for me to get this. Unless there's a super strong character I'm not aware of here. I don't think, yeah, it's Justin Finch Fletchley. Maybe once I turn into Crab and Goyle, maybe then? But I think we just automatically move to the next area when we do that. We'll find out sooner or later. Oh yeah, I need to actually walk up to them and steal their hair. I forgot about this. There we go. And put that there. I will drink that potion in a moment. Is there much I can do with all of these sinks? Because it seems like there would be with how they're acting. But I guess not, really. There we go, there's a blue stud. I saw that over there, I was trying to grab it. Yeah, and then we just move to the next area. So I need to replay this at least once with a new character, which is just sort of a pain. I wish you could just play it with every character. It's like, why do you have to choose a couple? And why does it auto choose ones that aren't gonna be particularly helpful? You know, it's just like, I can understand like Harry and Hermione and Snape, but like, do I need, I guess I will probably need Grip Hook, but what do I need Justin Finch Fletcherly for that I can't use for any other character? I don't know. So why did it auto choose him over Hagrid? 
I don't know, it's just weird to me. Anyways, as we're trying to enter this area, I'm sure we'll have plenty to do. So let's get to it. First I have that. These fish I can put away. These, this is definitely something. Got it, and got it. Or maybe not. Maybe I've already gotten it. Are these two talking? <laughs> I guess so. Oh no, it's right there. I didn't know what was going on there for a moment, but now I got it. We got our yellow thing. Over this way, I think there's just studs. Looks like it. Hmm. <laughs> hey, get off the bench. He's just running away. Oh my gosh, where'd you go? Ah, why'd you do that? Okay, let's grab these then at the least. But it doesn't seem to really do too much for us. There are some skeletons. Can we attack those guys? I suppose not. I think I already got this one. Yep. Okay, well there's not too much crazy to do around here that we haven't already done, I suppose. Um, yeah, this is something we have to do. Yeah, so so far this area isn't too crazy with bonus stuff. Okay, Hermione, you know what to do. Put this all together. It builds a flute for the snakes and then we can just beat them all up. <laughs> At least we need that. I'm not even gonna bother with these blue studs. They're a little bit too much out of the way, you know? There we go. And then once I'm actually at an angle to hit them, it should be fine or not. Because this game is very silly. There we go, we got that one. Over this way real quick. Blast them, blast them. What are you doing? What are you doing, <laughs> Hermione? No, move. There we go. Got it, maybe? No, oh my gosh. This game is very silly. I'm just gonna do this real quick, I'll be right back. All right, so we're moving into this area now. We got the Slytherin common room. Let's change the Snape. Come on now, what is inside of here? We get, oh, the Slytherin thing. Cool. Oh, there's some cool art on the wall as well. I didn't see that before. I can't walk in between these pillars, apparently. Same deal over this way. So I'm just trying to explore the Slytherin common room as much as I possibly can now, because I didn't do that too much last time. I just tried to go right to the point. One out of six, so there's some lanterns I can mess with around, mess with around here. And I can also do this. <laughs> we're cleaning the chimney. Guess we're just doing chores now. Oh, I made a bunch of bricks. I can use those to build. Oh, is that guy on top of all the glass supposed to be the student in peril? <laughs> That's very silly. Oh, there's a little photo. Who is that? Um, oh, well I guess you solved the problem, sort of. I feel like that really didn't get you out of any peril, sort of put you into more of it. Uh, but hey, we have this over here. That is another character, that's Gregory Goyle. Only makes sense that we're unlocking those guys. There's two out of six, three out of six. Um, we can destroy all these chairs. Whoa, they went flying everywhere. But I can't destroy the glass at all. Too much more to do over this way. So we already know how to solve this puzzle. So that's what we should be ignoring for now. In the meantime. Okay, I've got the fish bowl. Yeah, that's how we solve the puzzle with the fish bowl. So we're just going to give get none of my attention now. <laughs> this guy's just jumping on the couch. I'm gonna join you, whoa. And over this way. Four out of six. Five out of six, but where's the last one? I cannot leave unless I find it because I know that the next area is the last one. Yeah, it's right here. I don't know how I missed that. Very silly of me. Boom. And that is the other crest piece. We're still missing the Gryffindor one, which actually might be, um, what is it? That might actually be the thing that the, the pull lever is. So we'll have to wait and see. For right now, I have a lot of this stuff to beat up still. Oh, you know, I see this over here. Um, I'm gonna bust that open and then attack it again. And that is another secret character. So there's three Ron Slither in disguise. So that's everything except for the one piece, which means that must be it. So we're gonna come back here with Hagrid and we should be good. So I'm gonna save and exit and then I'll be right back. But hey, look at this. We got Vincent Crab. We got Gregory Goyle and we got the Ron Slither in disguise. We already got the Harry Slither in disguise. So it's good to have all those now all figured out. Oh, okay, so that was my issue, is that I don't actually have a Hagrid unlocked. Okay, so let's go and do that now, so we don't have to ever have to worry about that again. Um, we'll get a super strong character figured out, and then is there any other kind of character we really need that we would routinely run into? I don't think so, because we have Hermione with 
the digging with uh, Crookshanks and stuff. So I think we're like fine. So we're just gonna go over this way. I'm gonna find Hagrid in the whole list of characters and then maybe we can finish that level for real. So Harry, Harry, Harry. I mean, I could start buying this stuff now. But I only I need a different clothings of Harry at the least. So I'm gonna ignore most of those for now. And go over this way. We got Ron stuff. Uh, Ron with a cardigan. Professor Snape. Uh, Madame Pomfrey. Hagrid, here we go. Hagrid. Maybe I'll buy Filch just in case I need a character like that. But I don't think any other character would have anything. Yeah, there we go. We'll just have Madame Pomfrey. That should be good. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna give that a try real quick and then I should be done with that level. All right, so now that we're back in the level, the only thing I need to do is immediately run over this way, pull this with Hagrid, and see what happens. Oh my. Uh, oh gosh, all the sinks are freaking out. I get a plunger. Was that it? Oh yeah, I gotta switch over to this. What'll this do? Oh, can I clean all the ich on the floor? Is that it? Got another one of these kind of missions. There's one, <laughs> there's two. Come on, Orion, you can do this. Professional plumber right here. Four, five, and six. There it is, that's all I needed. <laughs> okay, now for real, I've done this level. Alrighty, well there was a lot of awesome Harry Potter action in today's episode, if you ask me. We got halfway through year two. I think I'm just gonna keep it at that because my voice gets really tired throughout some of these episodes. So making them a little bit shorter. I mean, they're still over a half an hour long, so they're still quite long episodes. We'll do the second half of year two in the next episode. It's been a lot of fun that we were able to unlock Dobby and stuff, and that, that's meaningful to me, you know. We also got all the, uh, we got uh, Crab and Goyle and stuff. Next episode, we'll do these three. Maybe we'll find even more cool characters. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Lego Harry Potter, years one through four. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Dobby, so now you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.